Doc Talk is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. Hey folks, welcome to Doc Talk. It's going to be a great show. Today we have Dr. Shane Terrell. Dr. Terrell is a veterinarian. He's got a PhD in diagnostic medicine and pathobiology. We're going to talk about weaning strategies and the impact that has when those cattle get to the feed yard. Stay tuned. As dependable as the sunrise, in dairy parlors, open pastures, on ranches and feed yards across America, a place where reputation is more than a name, where the science of healthier animals is a way of life. It's the responsibility that drives who we are and what we do, every decision, every day. It's your livelihood and our responsibility. Time is money on the farm, and your cows are less productive when they're stressed. The Alertus on-farm test from IDEX allows you to quickly test cow sud and identify open or pregnant cows within minutes on your schedule in the parlor, barn, or chute. It's more efficient for your farm, very simple to use, and puts you in control. With minimal training and reliable, fast results, sample-based pregnancy testing is better for beef and dairy producers. Learn more at idex.com slash doctalk. Closed captioning is brought to you by ProFusion Drench for Beef Cattle, a no prescription, no needle supplement. To learn more, go to zinpro.com. Hey folks, welcome to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson and I'm here with my friend and colleague, Dr. Shane Terrell. We're both with Production Animal Consultation and Dr. Terrell is a veterinarian that, that covers feed yards all over the, the High Plains region and it's really been fun to, to watch your career take off and, and blossom and uh, you know he's working with, with everything from farmer feeders to large corporate feed yards to packing plants to retailers and and uh, just special to have you on the show. No, thanks. I appreciate it. It's always fun. Yep. Dr. Terrell is, you're located in Gothenburg, right? Yep, that's correct. So, West Central. Yeah, well, yeah Central Central Nebraska, yeah. It, I'm from Western Nebraska originally, so there's that. Yeah, yeah the yeah, Shattern yeah. area. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Right, so. so, yeah, so that's, that's Western Nebraska. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, we're just going to today you know as we come upon weaning season and and taking calves off the cow um, i just want dr terrell to come on the show and we're just going to visit about you know how do you wean and what are some of the things that happen when you wean and and then what happens if you don't wean you know no. different things of that nature no that no it's, it's i mean those are all great topics and all pertinent for this time of year especially you know as the, in the west and and uh we're going through drought and so um our winning times are probably going to get moved up here and uh, so it's coming around the corner corner really quick you know when we think about weaning and and you know when i i my background is cow calf originally uh come from a ranch and and backgrounding feedlot uh so i mean these are all stuff that's important to important to me important to my family from the cow calf end now seeing it from the, the feedlot end you know it's it's really you know, my perspective prior to the feed yard was was really about preparing those cattle through vaccination, uh, which is important. You know, uh, but it's really weaning the weaning process and preconditioning process is really about uh, the whole preparing the whole animal for that uh, for that feeding phase and and what we can do to really get those cattle prepared to be in the feed yard uh, when they they uh, encounter a lot of things that they've never encountered before. Right, and one of the things that, that we stress in our practice, and that is when we start to talk about 
um, you know, acclimating cattle. And, and, you know, we forget about it. We think about the bunk and the vaccinations and the dewormers and the castrations and all that. We forget that the, there's an interaction between humans and animals that is imperative. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, it, and the, these cattle coming in the feed yards, obviously, are coming in from all different areas. You know, whether they're, they're coming in, uh, somebody that's mom's been fed with a bucket uh, its whole life to, to, you know, these cattle on, on, in, the, in the West that are, you know, maybe interacted in, in large areas, maybe they're doing it. Uh, pasture moves and, and those cattle are getting handled frequently but it's a lot different environment a lot different flight zone um, you know that uh, again it's just a whole different uh, no matter where they're coming in from it's a different it's just a different handling process sure that. and you know people that have you know we've gone to some fence line bunks for feeding cows and just less interaction with people with their cow herd on a day-to-day -day basis um, really gets rolled into this um, preparation and when we start to think about these weaning strategies of calves um, it's 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 beyond just the the physical separation absolutely absolutely it's it's uh, it's physical separation it's yeah it's new, it's new environments uh, but really I think um, you know what probably the most important part of, of all that is is you know as we wean those calves and, and they're facing these stresses um, you know if we're if we're doing doing the weaning at the ranch, uh, the the amount of cattle that are, are infected or or just the pure pathogen load is is very much different than if we're weaning sending them in a feed yard directly. And so you know when you think about the amount of infected animals versus susceptible versus resist, resist, resistant animals at that time, um, you know until we get those if we get move more of those cattle resistant to the that pathogen load. Um, for, you know, the more time that we have to build that that resistance through vaccination, but also through acclimation and through uh, hydration uh, status, all those things are are really critical in the weaning process. They're huge. We're going to take a break, folks. When we come back, we're going to talk more about weaning and preconditioning with Dr. Shane Terrell. Producers know stress costs money. It puts their cattle at greater risk of illness and can be a substantial drain on animal performance. That's why ZenPro developed ProFusion Drench for Beef Cattle. Formulated with ZenPro's patented trace mineral technology, ProFusion Drench is a no-script, no-needle performance supplement proven to rapidly replenish essential nutrients lost during times of stress. For optimal results, use ProFusion Drench with ZenPro Performance Minerals in feed as part of a complete nutrition program. To learn more, go to ZenPro.com. If you're looking for advanced and innovative livestock handling products and facilities, Daniels Manufacturing Company is who you want to choose. They are a family-owned business that puts the needs of their customers first and have so since they opened in 1958. With low-stress cattle handling being of the utmost importance, they are focused on quality, not quantity. The company prides themselves on prioritizing the animal's well-being by staying on the cutting edge of design and only using the best materials and manufacturing operations. For more information or to purchase your own, contact Daniels Manufacturing Company today. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Shane Terrell who is a veterinarian for Production Animal Consultation and he's located in Gothenburg, Nebraska. And, and Dr. Shane, as we went away, you know, that maternal separation, there, there are some different ways that we can do this, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, and it's, it's facility-based, it's labor-based. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of, obviously, a lot of different considerations, but, you know, obviously there's the classical abrupt weaning, um, haul off and, and for some people that may be the only option. Obviously in the feed yard setting, um, that's, that's less than ideal, uh, especially labor and, and uh, trying to manage those in the face of a, a larger pathogen load. But, but so, you know, we have abrupt, abrupt se separation, um, you know, depending on our, our facilities, we can fence line wean uh, across, you know, whether it's across the uh, you know two wire electric fence, whether it's a you know a, a robust bar, a barbed wire <laughs> fence, uh, a, or else uh, or else we can you know we can fence line wean 
into a pen if we have a you know, if we have a feedlot pen that's you know next to a pasture we can put those calves in a pen wean them to the bunk at the same time that they're they're across from their mothers but there's there's certainly lo lots of options out there worth worth considering yeah. yeah and when we're talking about that that abrupt wean is kind of that what we call a hard wean yeah and this this fence line weaning is the is the softer wean yep which the cows and calves can still communicate. I was just up in, in Saskatchewan and they were actually doing a, a fence line wean with buffalo. Oh, really? And to yeah. see them grunting across the, the fence to each other, but there was a calmness yep. to it to kind of knock the edge off of that maternal separation. Yep, and you know, and there's, you, there's definitely, um, you know, there's people that have a lot of experience out there with these processes, you know, definitely uh, to reach, reach out to extension resources, those kind of things. Um, you know, there's uh, the duration of that of that separation or that gradual separation. Any time that we can increase that duration to some degree, um, that's good. At some point, we got to get those mothers removed, whether it's hauling the calves away or hauling the cows away. Uh, but uh, but it yeah allows allows a, for a period of decreased stress as they move into the other other new parts of their life whether that's introduction to a feed bunk or a feed bunk or introduction to new waters those kind of things well if you think about it it's kind of the way we start out kindergarten mm -hmm. you don't just kick them into a full day the first day <laughs> yeah. you know we we start out and they go for a half day or they go for a couple hours and they go home to mom and and or they go a half day and they go home to mom and then we work them up to yeah. Yep. No, no, and that's exactly right. And even, even, I mean, another level of that is even in our preconditioning processes, there's, um, you know, Dr. Dr. Tom Knopfsinger's kind of worked uh, with, with, with some, some ranches and, and they, they actually go and we'll do overnight separation of those calves prior to preconditioning and, you know, and, and have a phase of separation where then they, they get back together where those, so those calves are the next time that happens are less nervous. Uh, about that separation with mom, you know, do we want to do that in the night before we wean? Probably not. We're just going to add stress. Right. But but if we can do that in a in a time that's a low stress time for those animals, that's a introduction to that stress um, without uh, without affecting their immune responses. Many different ways to do it, folks. We're going to take a break and we come back more with Dr. Shane Terrell. You're watching Doc Doc, and we're sure glad you joined us. Time is money on the farm, and your cows are less productive when they're stressed. The Alertus on-farm test from IDEX allows you to quickly test cow sud and identify open or pregnant cows within minutes on your schedule in the parlor, barn, or chute. It's more efficient for your farm, very simple to use, and puts you in control. With minimal training and reliable, fast results, sample-based pregnancy testing is better for beef and dairy producers. Learn more at idex.com slash doctalk. As dependable as the sunrise, in dairy parlors, open pastures, on ranches and feed yards across America, a place where reputation is more than a name, where the science of healthier animals is a way of life. It's the responsibility that drives who we are and what we do, every decision, every day. It's your livelihood and our responsibility. If you're looking for advanced and innovative livestock handling products and facilities, Daniels Manufacturing Company is who you want to choose. They are a family-owned business that puts the needs of their customers first and have so since they opened in 1958. With low-stress cattle handling being of the utmost importance, they are focused on quality, not quantity. The company prides themselves on prioritizing the animal's well-being by staying on the cutting edge of design and only using the best materials and manufacturing operations. For more information or to purchase your own, contact Daniels Manufacturing Company today. ValleyVet.com is your one-stop shop for your every animal need. From prescription meds, vaccines, equipment, and more for the ranch to the show ring, shop ValleyVet.com for fast shipping and great prices. Valley Vet Supply. 
Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Shane Terrell and we're with Production Animal Consultation. We're glad you joined us today. Dr. Terrell is a veterinarian who covers feed yards uh, and cow-calf operations and stalker operations, Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, uh, and beyond, and uh, located out of Gothenburg, Nebraska. And um, Dr. Shane, you know, you see a lot of cattle coming into yards and what what are some of the bigger differences that you see in a calf that's abruptly weaned versus one that's been you know preconditioned and knows what a fence has been maternally separated and knows what a bunk is you know it's um it should be pretty intuitive as an industry but but really when you when you talk to the really i mean the the, the scientists out there and when we look at, at the research you know the two biggest drivers of respiratory, the, the odds of developing respiratory disease and, and subsequently dying from respiratory mortality, um, you know, hydration status is, uh, hydration status and castration status uh, of those cattle on arrival um, are, are, are two of very, the, the two most important. Uh, so when those, those cattle that are weaned prior to, uh, versus ab uh, ab abruptly weaned into the feed yard, there's less bawling. Um, they're, they're, like I said, they're already um, ready to, to uh, find those new water sources, yep. are, are willing to go to get, the, or get those drinks. There's less stress involved. They're, and again, less, less bawling, less movement. Um, their, their hydration status at, at the time of uh, induction <laughs> processing the feed yard uh, it really makes, I mean, if we, if those cattle are dehydrated at the time of processing, uh, the, um, a failure of a vaccine has nothing to do with the vaccine. It's, it's, it comes back to that, you know, if they're able to go rest and get a drink and lay down, that vaccine works a whole lot better than if they just take a breath to glurp some water in between bawling. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's, and, and, and again, the, the continued stress of, of uh, castrating those animal at processing, you know, when um, a, you know, a single shot of cortisol or stress responses to those animals is, is impactful, but not, doesn't have near the negative impact as, as continued stress or long durations of stress on those cattle. So, so, so talk to me just a little bit about, you know, those, when, when um, the calves come in and, and they, they are undergoing this stress. What would you rec what would, what do you think the difference is in death loss between a preconditioned calf and a you look at a lot of records but just ballpark between one that's abruptly weaned cell barn? Yeah, I I mean, over the first uh, thirty or thirty to sixty days on feed, we can I, we can definitely say as far as daily death risk in that, um, especially in that fifteen to fifteen to thirty day window, it's certainly cut in half the daily death risk over that period. Um, and then you, it, it's hard to pull together, but when you look at whole body immunity and, and the uh, effect on the gut and the, and the immune response there, uh, it definitely has an effect all the way through the feeding period there, but as far as those cattle's ability to take consistent meals, um, those kind of things. So it's, it's, it's huge. Yeah. Well, and I don't want to badmouth sale barns or auction markets. It's not their fault. It's the lack of the calf being prepared to go into the auction market or into the feed yard that that creates the issue so so don't send the letters to me uh, <laughs> just yet um, um, but doc shane let's take a break and we come back we'll wrap up on preconditioning weaning and, and what we see with calves coming in the yard this fall okay. you're watching doc talk time is money on the farm and your cows are less productive when they're stressed the Alertus on-farm test from IDEX allows you to quickly test cow side and identify open or pregnant cows within minutes on your schedule in the parlor, barn, or chute. It's more efficient for your farm, very simple to use, and puts you in control. With minimal training and reliable, fast results, sample-based pregnancy testing is better for beef and dairy producers. Learn more at IDEX.com slash DocTalk. If you're looking for advanced and innovative livestock handling products and facilities, Daniels Manufacturing Company is who you want to choose. They are a family-owned business that puts the needs of their customers first and have so since they opened in 1958. With low-stress cattle handling being of the utmost importance, they are focused on quality, not quantity. 
The company prides themselves on prioritizing the animal's well-being by staying on the cutting edge of design and only using the best materials and manufacturing operations. For more information or to purchase your own, contact Daniels Manufacturing Company today. Producers know stress costs money. It puts their cattle at greater risk of illness and can be a substantial drain on animal performance. That's why ZenPro developed ProFusion Drench for Beef Cattle. Formulated with ZenPro's patented trace mineral technology, ProFusion Drench is a no-script, no-needle performance supplement proven to rapidly replenish essential nutrients lost during times of stress. For optimal results, use ProFusion Drench with ZenPro Performance Minerals in feed as part of a complete nutrition program. To learn more, go to ZenPro.com. ValleyVet.com is your one-stop shop for your every animal need. From prescription meds, vaccines, equipment, and more for the ranch to the show ring, shop ValleyVet.com for fast shipping and great prices. Valley Vet Supply. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Shane Terrell, who's out of Gothenburg, Nebraska. He's a veterinarian and a feedlot consultant. Um, has a PhD in diagnostic medicine and pathobiology. Um, and a DVM from Kansas State University. Um, tremendous resource for our industry. He is a, a leader in our industry, uh, not a future leader, he's a leader now. And so very proud of all that you're getting done and thanks for all you do for the industry. Oh, thank you. Um, Dr. Shane, you know, we talked about acclimation, we've talked about um, weaning strategies, we've, we've talked about some of the differences that you'll have in morbidity and mortality. And so as we improve our trust between the calf and you, they're gonna show you clinical signs earlier. And your lameness research showed that the faster you treat, or earlier you treat in the disease process, yep. the better the case outcome's gonna be. So talk to me a little bit about when you're working with your crews, what do you kind of tell them to look for to find a sick calf? No. And Dr. Dan, you're exactly right. Timing of intervention, no matter what the disease is, is key. So. When we, when we go out there to look, and uh, the first thing that we have to do is get that can animal as comfortable as we can walking by us. Uh, and again, that's a, we, are, we don't want it, we're not trying to create movement uh, by pushing those animals. We really want voluntary flow by us so we can, uh, we can observe those animals in a way that we, so we can pick up those clinical signs. When we think about clinical, cl clinical signs, uh, you know, the DART method is, is kind of the tried and true way to remember it, but you know, depression, anorexia, respiratory distress. Uh, but those signs of depression, um, those animals are gonna show them to you more quickly, the better we, the better we have those cattle acclimated to, to how we handle them. So that's, a, that's an important part, part. When we think about depression, obviously we think about, uh, you know, when those cattle are at a, yeah, at a normal gait, are those cattle, um, you know, less willing to move, are they dropping their head? Uh, you know, just those general signs of depression, uh, anorexia and in, in the fact that if they're, they're not eating uh, correctly, those animals are, are gaunt and, and uh, don't have the fill that their, their cohort would have. Um, and then resp when we think about respiratory distress, uh, you know, that really, that there's other things that can drive increased respiratory rate. You know, acidosis uh, can drive increased respiratory rate. Heat, uh, uh, you know, we're in the middle of the summer right now. That can, that can drive increased respiratory rate. So we're really, we're looking at, res at respiratory effort uh, along with that. You know, is, is, it, is, it, is there increased effort? Is there increased gut push or diaphragmatic push to, to, um, to respirate? Yep. And uh, Todd Milton had some data that if cattle aren't eating one and a half percent of their body weight by a week and a half on feed, we've we've got problems. Yep. And yep. so it goes right along with that. Yep. Any uh, last words on on weaning and preconditioning? No, it's um, you know as an industry, it's just um, it's something that any time that we can do it, it's uh, for that animal. It's good for the industry. It's good and. Um, and I think I think we're we're as an industry we're getting where um, we're paying. I think we're we're getting some of those premiums back to producers to justify it financially. So. Yep, we're not only getting the premiums, but we're also selling more pounds. That's right. And so so you may not get a higher price sometimes, but you're selling more pounds at the same price, 
and that's where the dollars uh, come in. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for watching Doc Talk. If you want to know more about what we do, you can find us on the web at www.doctalktv.com. Always work with your local veterinarian. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson with Dr. Shane Terrell, and we'll see you. Closed captioning is brought to you by ProFusion Drench for Beef Cattle, a no prescription, no needle supplement. To learn more, go to zenpro.com. Doc Talk was brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. ValleyVet.com is your one stop shop for your every animal need. From prescription meds, vaccines, equipment, and more for the ranch to the show ring, shop ValleyVet.com for fast shipping and great prices. Valley Vet Supply. Time is money on the farm, and your cows are less productive when they're stressed. The Alertus on farm test from IDEX allows you to quickly test cow side and identify open or pregnant cows within minutes on your schedule in the parlor, barn, or chute. It's more efficient for your farm, very simple to use, and puts you in control. With minimal training and reliable, fast results, sample based pregnancy testing is better for beef and dairy producers. Learn more at IDEX.com slash talk.